updated. Look on your face, sis. Even my good side is worse for wear. I've been trying not to think about the changing. Like it could all be a bad dream I ain't woken up from. Nightmares. All nightmares. Since that storm blew us off course. Off the compass. Off the map. <clears throat> we didn't tell anyone about the shit we saw. About dead ships all caught up in red weed as far as you could see. <clears throat> about the things moving in the fog. In the water. <clears throat> about what we saw beneath it all. Deep into the abyss. <clears throat> or what I found there. In that dungeon, darkness shone like a signal flare. Like something fallen down from heaven above, you understand? A blade made of pure light. A thing of terrible beauty. I could hear its siren song just, just calling me. Last I remember was the Creed boys hollering as I took a hold of it. Or it took a hold of me. I wasn't strong enough, I, I know that now. They told me it pushed back the fog and the waves while I was out cold. <clears throat> told me it saved us. <clears throat> it didn't save us. <clears throat> that thing brought the fog back to Kingsmith. <clears throat> I brought the fog back to Kingsmith. <clears throat> and I still hear that siren song. <clears throat> I know you hear it too. You could find it. You could stop that... Powerful noises. Put that burning brightness back where it belongs. In the deep. In the dark. I wonder what would have happened if I never left that Red Sea. Maybe Joe Slater never did. And all this is just some pitch dark dreaming.
finally silenced the incessant noise and moved it to a safer place. So where did... Away from here. I'm not in a sharing mood, Cassandra, and the moaning isn't helping. <sighs> That's not what you said last night. Oh, baby, I thought we had something. Something magic. Black as space and red as blood. <sighs> this is so very far beyond you, little girl. Fuck off. I've seen the beyond, and I'm a fast learner. I'm ready for more than this. Give me something. Let me in. Let me do what I'm good at. What? Getting the boys to sign over their lives for a snog? I'll tell you what you can do. We're spreading an idea, but that idea won't take hold without carriers. You keep spreading those long legs of yours to recruit more foot soldiers. Be still, my beating heart. Here's what I don't get, Beaumont. You have what you've been looking for. Your precious magic sword. You control the armies of the living dead. You pretty much own this island. So the question is... Why the sour face? I mean, what is it that you're... You're missing something, right? Now, this is interesting. Your treasure, your... your precious... You can't use it, can you? I mean, the spirit is willing, but the flesh... Oh my, the flesh is limp. Watch it, little girl. You have no idea what... What? What? You want to know what this is really about, Cassie, dear, when it all comes down to it? Hmm? Change. Evolution. A new dawn. The world tree will shake. The sun will turn black. And the gods themselves will fall. We are re rebooting the world. That's the thing, isn't it? What everyone talks about. It's the big headline. The dawning of a new age, right? Tokyo, the endless night. I like it. There's poetry to it. And oh, does it suit you, the evil sorcerer thing. It's sexy. The answer is in the archives somewhere. It has to be. They knew about it, the gateway to the black heart of the island. I have the key, but... The lock. The lock is the fucking thing. Wait, didn't you say that the lock... I've been around long enough to recognize the flavor of the day, Cassie. You're it. <clears throat> oh, really? So that's it. That's how you repay me, you piece of shit. No more. Take one last good look at what you're missing. Lover boy. Useless bitch. The Illuminati and their bloody labyrinths. <laughs> <laughs>